Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a Monday uh, dedicated to caregivers. And today we're going to talk about uh, cleaning uh, a power wheelchair or manual wheelchair. Uh, so I have the whole recipe here, and it's a little dark outside, so if a lightning hits me, uh, you'll know what happened. <laughs> so let's, let's get this done before I get hit. <laughs> All right, uh, so the things you're going to need. You're going to need an ice cream bucket or a bucket of that size. Uh, you're going to need a Dawn soap. You're going to need water, of course, a non-fuzzy rag. And so let's go into the recipe here. <clears throat> you're going to fill up your uh, small bucket with about a quarter of water and about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of Dawn uh, I wouldn't go beyond the tablespoon because you know Dawn is very soapy. So we don't the want we don't want the water to be too soapy. So so I would say about a tablespoon. That's it. Um, you're gonna now we're gonna go into the action. Uh, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna take the rag of course and put it in the water and then we're gonna wring it out, wring it out really really well so that uh, so it's not drippy at all you don't want any drippy rags around a power wheelchair <laughs> and make sure it's unplugged <laughs> uh, and then wipe it down you know wipe the chair down wipe the armrest down uh, the casing down below um, you know on top of the wheels or the wheel wells um, and and you're good to go let it dry off if the person uses a cushion on top of their chair, check and see if that cushion's um, cover comes off and if it's washable. If it's washable, awesome, throw it in the wash. And I never put them in the dryer, I just hang them up somewhere so they can dry and then I put them back onto my, my cushion. So check that out to see if it needs to, um, to happen. Uh, let's see, and hopefully they have a uh, extra cushion uh, so, so you can put the dry cushion on the chair <laughs> while the other one dries. So anyway, that is the short of it. Uh, I was really pushing this hard during COVID uh, because, because we had COVID and it was important to keep everything clean. Um, if you have a person who is sensitive, who is immune compromised, then you want to do it maybe twice a month. Uh, or if you have a really active person who likes to go in the park and or go take a, a wheelchair hike or any of those things, then um, and comes back all muddy. <laughs> Sometimes it happens to me, but because I'm going across the parking lot and the parking lot is all muddy. But when I get back, um, I just kind of spin around a few times on the rug <laughs> and try to get off the mud. <laughs> Otherwise, the aides are going to chase me through the building. <laughs> but um, yeah, just uh, make sure that you know if if it's extra dirty for whatever reason, then just clean it. You know, so you know you can do it twice a month. I just do it like once a month. So, <clears throat> so that is it. If you are a caregiver and you do it a little different, you know, post down your uh, down below your your ideas or how you do it and um and share with us and uh because people do things differently this is the way i do it and to keep my wheelchair clean and uh up to snuff especially if i'm going to meetings or conferences or whatever or i'm doing a presentation then i really want my chair to be clean and, and presentable all right well that was it feel free wheelchair users to share this with your caregiver. Uh, maybe your caregiver is watching it right now. So, <laughs> so I'm hoping that uh, you will subscribe. We we're asked now by YouTube to say that so that you know it'll help us uh, increase the number of subscriptions, uh, which helps us gain you know more numbers and also to be able to be monetized. So uh, feel free to subscribe and to uh, like the video if it was helpful to you. And as I always say, be well, be safe, and I'll see you in the next one.